What's up everyone, Dan and Lina back with another CSR2 video. Today we are checking out the Audi S1 Hunatron and we're going to do a stage 5 shift in tune, stage 6 shift in tune. We'll see if we can find a live racing setup and some stuff like that. I just want to say before we get into this, it's a very strange car. It, it's a little hard to drive. I'm having a hard time with this. So the video is not perfect, but this will give you a great idea on how to work the car. Getting that perfect start is crucial. If you don't get the perfect start with the needle kickback, the car runs really, very slow and it's almost impossible to get that perfect start. So anyways, let's get to the video. When the car is 100% maxed out, you can put your nitrous or your overboost, whatever you want to call it, all the way to the right. Final drive, 2.0, and tire pressure on 8 PSI. That gives us a dyno time of a 6.724, 6.724. Thank you to YouTuber Asho Speed the King. I'm on his account today, so thank you Asho. Link to his channel in this video's description. So this is with all the stage six parts and all the fusions installed, and it's a really weird car. So to drive this car, we are gonna try to get a perfect start. And then as soon as it launches, we're gonna hit our nitrous and then shift right before the red line there. And there's only like three gears you have to worry about, but it's a very strange car. I didn't quite get my shift right, but I mean, that's that's all there is to it, guys. That's all there is to it. There we ran a 6.855. If you get your shifts just right, it will run in the 6.7s. All right, let's go ahead and fit all the stage five parts onto it. Then we'll show you how to drive it on stage five. What you just saw there was the car maxed out, but now we are going to a stage five shift and tune. When you have this car on stage five with all the fusions installed, overboost all the way to the right, final drive 2.33 and tire pressure on eight PSI. That will give the car a dyno of a 7.600, 7.600. And we're just gonna go ahead and try and drive it the exact same way. Three, two, one, go, nitrous. There we go, shift into second. And I'm telling you, it's really hard to get the hang of driving this car. You got to get the, the launch just right. You do want to see that needle drop like you just saw right there. Then we got a 7.606. You do want to hit the nitrous as soon as the car launches and try to get that shift into third right before the red line. But very strange car to drive. So let's talk about a live racing setup. So if you do upgrade this car and you get this car, this is the way I would set it up for live racing. And we only need to upgrade three parts and we got 2640 on the Evo and 627 on the performance point. So this is a low performance point, high Evo tune. So refit pretty much all the parts back to stock, except for we've got the overboost on stage three, tires stage three, transmission stage four everything else is fit back to stock we're gonna put our overboost all the way to the right final drive at 4.22 and tire pressure at 8 psi that's gonna give us a 9.986 on the dyno and the key is not to beat the dyno time so we're gonna try and run about a 10.0 that should put this car in the 10.0 lobby so if we can run really close to 10.0 the car is always going to stay in that lobby and it won't get pushed and moved around from lobby to lobby, which is the kind of live racing setup we want. Now, no matter what I what I do, I can't really get the car to hit around the dyno time. It's always running slower, so I'm not really sure how well this is going to work out. But yeah, let's give it a go. Three, two, one, go. Second. I mean, nitrous in second. Third. If you don't get the perfect start, this car does not run right, and it is extremely hard to get the perfect start. Like right there, we got a 9.9. .9. So the rest of the runs, I've been getting like 10.1s, 10.2s, 10.5s, because if you don't get the start exactly perfect and that needle doesn't kick back, the car will run very slow. It is not an easy car to drive, but if you can set it up this way, and get it to run in the 9.9s, maybe even slow down right before you cross the finish line to keep it in the 10.0 the lobby. 
it should do pretty well in live racing, but I think you're going to have a really, really hard time making it happen. Not easy to drive this car at all. It's almost impossible to get that perfect start. All right, let's do a little review on this thing. So it's a very cool car. It looks awesome. It's fast. Top speed is going to be around 301 miles per hour. It'll do like 6.7 something if you max it out and you drive it just perfect. 0 to 60 is around 0 0.1 seconds. 0 to 100 is like 0 0.3 seconds. So it's got crazy fast acceleration, decent top speed. It's a very fast car, but it drives funny. So I have one complaint is that it's a very frustrating and very hard car to drive. But if you can get past that, it's a cool car. So currently this car was available for a, you know, a flash event for a kin block flash event thingy dingy. And well, when that's over, you're probably not going to be able to get it. So it's not one of those cars you can just get any time, but it may come back in the future at some point. So we'll just have to wait and see if there's another kin block event that comes out that features this car where you can get it again. You just never know with this game. But I think that wraps this video up. I like the car don't love the way it drives but overall cool car sorry if this video was not as good as most of my uh, videos but this is not an easy car to deal with okay if you're not running one of those macros to shift the car at just the perfect stuff which i don't do a lot of youtubers do do that but i don't it's very hard okay Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the Danny Lightning merch store if you want to really help support the channel. Or there's a thank you button or a join button down below the video. You can find a link to the Danny Lightning fans Discord server. My friend owns it and runs it. But hey, if you want to join that, you can. There's also a link to my other YouTube channels and some other stuff like that down in the video's description. So check that stuff out. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are amazing. Lightning out. Have an awesome day. See ya.